Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with a follow-up to yesterday's Bare Bones Factory Setting Lockman Submachine Gun video. We've got it configured now, and let's see how we configured it. I think running a weapon in Bare Bones Factory Settings mode for several games gives you a good idea on what you want to improve about it. I think it's a good technique uh, that I'm going to practice in Black Ops 6 because this has really taught me a lot about the weapons. So let's take a quick look. The Lockman TCG-10 grip. And all that does is it addresses some of the recoil. The L38 Falcon 226 Mike Mike millimeter barrel helps a little bit with the ADS speed and the mobility, hurts the gun kick. So the 7% we gained on the previous attachment, we give back again with this one. And the bullet velocity goes down to 583.9 meters per second. The sonic suppressor that increases the damage range minimally, but gets the bullet velocity back up again. That's a composite 583.9. And that's actually 43, almost 42 actually meters per second better than the factory settings. It again touches the recoil, but only 4% and sprint to fire speed at 3%. The FTAC MSP-98 hand stop. That addresses some recoil, some mobility issues, and puts our ADS movement speed at 3.4 meters per second, slightly better than the factory settings. And finally, the piece de la resistance, or however you say that in French, the 50 round drum. I was always changing out the magazine when I went with the 30 round, especially in free for all. So this is a situational thing. 50 round drum, I needed it in free for all, I thought. It impacts the mobility in a minor way. Still some better numbers than the stock and the handling hurts the ADS speed, which is one thing I don't like to do, and the uh, sprint to fire speed slightly. So you're going to see that I've given up on three or four of my main objectives just to get that 50 round drum and all of the other attachments that I've added are to compensate for that 50 round drum. So what exactly does this do to us compared to bare bones? Well, in this case, red is good. Highlighted red is something that's good to take note of for the configuration. And the bullet velocity we've already said has increased, as has minimally the effective damage range and the minimum damage range. When we look at recoil and performance, Gun kick is much better, as is vertical recoil slightly. The horizontal recoil I left alone because it was just fine. Aim down sight speed. We lost 22 milliseconds off of that, but still at 222, we're going to do fine. And the ADS movement speed is increased by one-tenth of a meter per second. The rest of it's pretty much the same. So let's take the configuration of this Lockman submachine gun onto the field of honor, see what it did for Grandpa, and what it did to his friendly, sometimes, enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. Going skiing on incline. Boy, that's a good start to any free-for-all. First time I ever went skiing... Probably a lot of you veterans know the place. Garmisch Partenkirchen, the Zugspitze. Zugspitze, the mountain in the Alps. I was 17 and I stayed on my face in the snow. Fast forward uh, to college and I went skiing. I went to the Air Force Academy in Colorado, so I went skiing in Sunnyvale and Vale and Keystone and Breckenridge. Actually, I think Sunnyvale was in Idaho. That was later. And I got to where I could stay up on the beginner trails. And then finally, when I went through F4 training, Phantom at the Air National Guard base in Boise, Idaho. Bogus Basin is the ski area with night skiing they have lit ski runs i think it was 17 miles from my door and that f4 transition was packing seven months worth of work into about two and a half months i mean i skied almost every day in the season but 
bogus basin was nothing like this, and so I didn't have to carry around a fully configured Lockman submachine gun. Not often, anyway. So, I like this map. It reminds me of that other map. Can anybody give me the name of that map that was up at the top in the snow? It had a building in the middle. But it, it this is completely different from it, but it reminds me of the map. And I'm telling you, those extra 50 rounds, they make a difference. The weapon is a good hip fire weapon. You'll see I start a lot with a hip fire. That iron back just gacked me. So the 50 rounds help with the hip shot, and I really didn't notice any difference in sprint to fire, which is only four milliseconds. If anybody tells you they can tell the difference in four milliseconds, then they could see through that white haze because they're magical people. And it's, I think, the 22 millisecond increase in aim down sight speed. So all of the configuration for this entire weapon Oh, uh, obligatory knifer. The entire configuration is just to make up for the 50 round mag. Otherwise, it pretty much has the same performance as a bare bones Lockman, which is decent. This is a good mid tier SMG. You can win with it. There are other SMGs that you might do a little better with. Come on, step on it. He did. In fact, two people did. Yeah, laying down in a strange moment there. And I always run into grenades. I don't know why I do that, but I've been doing that for the last 15 years. And I like the stickies where I can see where they are. Where'd that guy go? There he is. Oh, I think that might have been the knifer. We've got a good lead here. The weapon is performing well. This is a good map for it. A lot of twists and turns. And when you run into somebody around the corner and you have a fast fire rate, a fast sprint to fire, you can win the, the engagement. That guy ran away pretty quickly, but he dove down onto my proximity mine. So we just need one more GAC. We're going to put out everything. If I could trip them and shoot them while they were down, I'd do it. And an obligatory knifer gets me. We won't go through the knifing discussion there. Somebody just in the, in the corner, and I get obligatory knife or two. Two kills to get the final. So I thought the Lockman, I didn't see the recoil. And look, there's a 61-year-old guy that came in second. I think he was obligatory knifer. Yeah, he was. He's giving us old folks a bad name. I didn't notice the recoil, the sprint to fire was just fine, as was the ADS movement speed, which was about the same. So this will give us a little chance to get more at distance. So maybe I give you an honest opinion of the, of the recoil. Grandpa loves shooting people in the back, and he loves gacking four people on the first 20 seconds of the game. Actually, make that five. Is there somebody there? Nope, they're dead. I think I see somebody up. No. And somebody shoots me in the ear while... Yeah, there was somebody. Two people up there. Get shot in the ear on the ground. There's still somebody up there. That guy slides into the corner. That was pretty well done. Of course, somebody stepped on a proximity mine, too. I know there's somebody coming around the corner. He doesn't know I'm there. Oh. And that, that guy gets revenged. Oh, I think he lost sight of where I was. So the Lockman is highly maneuverable. The tack sprint is 7.2 meters per second, so you can get around pretty quickly. And sometimes you have to say I love you with a Renetti. Typical camping place. That's the worst place to be on this map is on that side because there's always somebody looking the entire length of the map. It's the only clear side. See, that person was looking the entire length of the map you know, somebody like a fish when you have a fish tugging at your line that's what that's what was happening to me there oh 
see gunfire. I see dead people. Where's this guy? People laying down. I don't understand why they do that. Other, unless it's a drop shot and free for all. Because when you lay down, you get gacked. Sprint to fire speed. The stray speed helped me there because I was strafing going backwards. Yeah, that guy's dead. Grandpa has a four gack lead here going into the third trimester of the free for all. Make that a five, and he did not die. On my proximity mine, I see gunfire flashing, and that may give you a hint as to why you might need a flash concealer of some sort. And that, that's just stupid, running down that side. There's somebody laying in the classic camping spot. Not impressed. Oh, I thought he was gone. Still maintaining that five GAC lead. I tell you, I think the 50 rounds was exactly what I needed. There's one at distance over a head glitch, and there's a win. Snickers win. 30 kills. I think this configuration is something I can go to war with. 50 round mag, all four others just make up for what the 50 round mag does for you. Give me your Lockman story in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Thanks for watching. Peace to you, and cheers.